What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's time to get out. After two months of hibernation I decided to head out uh, for a short spin and uh, I will make the review of the tactical shovel once I get to the destination. So as you see the roads are still pretty messy. Uh, the last week we were still sitting at minus 30 but uh, there was a pretty drastic temperature change uh, over the last couple days and uh, today is uh, 12 degrees Celsius as I'm heading out and uh, first uh, I would like to get some gas so this way I can make to my destination. Uh, the bike was uh, sitting on a trickle charger and now it's time to fill it up with uh, premium gas and hit the road. Sorry that I have to improvise the vlog, I just noticed after I got home that the audio did not get recorded on a GoPro from my mic microphone. Uh, they released some kind of an update and uh, I went ahead and installed the update. Unfortunately, I didn't catch uh, that the update disabled my microphone in a helmet for a GoPro. So that is a bummer. I got no sound of my bike. I'll be heading out today to Elbow Falls and on the way back uh, I will stop at the rest area and I will do the review of that shovel I was telling you. Welcome to Kananaski's country. It has been a while since I have been here. Uh, last time I was traveling through here, it was in uh, mid-December. Uh, the bike was parked till March, uh, pretty much uh, not touched. It's a good feeling to be on the bike again. Hey guys, so this is the shovel I was uh, talking about earlier. It comes in a little storage pouch with a shoulder strap and inside you have all the contents. Uh, it was about $40 on Amazon. Uh, I want to show you uh, what it has and uh, how it looks. I just uh, opened it at home, but I, I never had a chance to use it yet. We will find out if it will chop wood, as they say, and how that will work. So let's get into it and I'll show you, I'll unpack it, everything, and I'll show you what it, uh, what's inside. All right, so once you unpack the shovel, uh, you see it's got uh, three sharp edges and the edges can be used for chopping wood. So, sort of like an axe and then you have two uh, sockets here I'm not even sure what size are those but that looks like a 12 or a four and a 14 millimeter and then you have the bottle opener they put that on everything these days and uh, on that side let's hope it's gonna focus well enough uh, you have the little uh, measuring uh, tape uh, that goes up to 10 centimeters and then on the other side you got a saw blade uh, that can be used for something else so that can be used as a shuffle once you the, the, you can extend the handles or it has a reverse thread in here so it's sort of like a propane tank uh, also another reverse thread so it can be used as a hack and you can hack a little ditch or something whatever you want to do with this so let's go over the rest of the components uh, that come in this package here and uh, you'll see and we'll make some tests on it as well that reverse thread is kind of weird i don't know why they would do a reverse thread but i guess th th there is a purpose for it so we'll start with the handle and the handle as you see it's got a compass but it's useless as hell it doesn't turn or nothing oh actually it did now but uh, all, all everybody in the reviews, they say that uh, 
that compass is, uh, doesn't work. Yeah, and I don't think it does actually. You gotta have it perfectly uh, leveled in order to, to get this some movement. But anyways, on the other side here, uh, all the pieces are with the little o-rings, so when you put the handle together, the water doesn't go inside. And you'll see you have here screwdriver, flathead and the Phillips. And then on the next handle piece, uh, you will see um, on this piece right here that unscrews. And you have a, a dual tool here, which is uh, on one side you get a knife and on the other side you get a saw. And uh, we'll test it out right now. You've got a piece of wood somewhere. Well, believe it or not, it it does work. The wood is quite wet. It's uh, in the winter right now, but uh, and then you got a knife. You can carve. So that's the second piece of the handle, and then the last piece. You get a bla glass breaker, um, or they call it a hammer, or in a manual. But I don't think it's a hammer. It uh, looks like a glass breaker to me. So if you need to break the glass uh, for emergency or something you can use that uh, for that purpose. So let's put this thing together. So you can uh, actually customize the length of that. So you can put the, the last piece if you want a short handle, or if you want a longer, you can uh, put as many pieces as you want to, to suit your new, uh, purpose, whatever you will be doing with this uh, shovel. I'll assemble to a full length. And the last piece at the end, It's got a nice long handle, looks quite sturdy. It uh, doesn't look really cheap, even though it is made in China. Uh, it seems to be quite good. So let's take it aside here and see how well that will work. I'm not, I'm not sure if I have a asphalt here or Give a couple of good wax, there might be ice or something, but we will see. Yeah, it is ice underneath there. Pure ice solid. But that thing is actually holding quite good. It's not getting loose and it does the trick. So the edges holding together, they are not too bad at all. Let's see if that can chop that wood. Wow! Okay, so it seems like it's working and doesn't doesn't chip the steel, even though this is quite wet. And uh, so it did the job. Yep. Okay, so it does work. It's performing not too bad. I forgot to show you, there was one more piece uh, right here at the end on the handle. It's the magnesium rod and that can be used uh, for starting the fire. So you just scrape a little bit of that magnesium from this rod and uh, it lights up the fire pretty quickly so it's handful, uh, pretty helpful in emergency uh, if you want to use it and then they'll pack inside uh, also one more spare o-ring so overall it's uh, not too bad of a quality i'll put a link uh, down in the description to this thing so you can check it out uh, on amazon there's also different brands but uh, i was sort of going through the reviews as i stated earlier and this one caught my eye uh, the price was right i think it was somewhere around 40 bucks mark canadian and uh, i decided to order because uh, my buddy tried to ordering uh, those uh, last year uh, early of the season 
Uh, it's really good when you are off-road, if you get stuck or something, to dig yourself out of there. Um, it's uh, really good uh, to have it and it's really not too heavy, doesn't take too much room in your uh, luggage. Yeah, my buddy tried to order and the company scammed us, uh, he, they never sent any product. Uh, so we ordered two of those uh, directly from the manufacturer apparently and uh, he made a payment and everything but uh, they never replied, or they never sent the product to us. So um, I decided to go with Amazon. It wasn't a big deal but uh, the other ones uh, were a little bit more expensive. They were I believe uh, like uh, 69 bucks or something like that. So they were a little bit more money than this guy here and uh, buying from Amazon it's a uh, it's a sure thing, uh, so Amazon uh, has its uh, buyer's protection and stuff like that, so you're not gonna lose out on that. I'll put an affiliated link uh, down below in the description if you are interested to get one of those uh, sh uh, tactical shovels, what they call. Uh, I really recommend uh, going through my link. Uh, it will not cost you any more if you're going that way or um, directly from Amazon, but at least this way, if you buy it through the link, uh, would give me a small commission for selling uh, and advertising this product. Uh, I'm not doing this uh, because of Amazon. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, um, because uh, they didn't pay me nothing yet. So I just wanted to show you uh, the review of this thing. If you are interested to purchase something similar, you can go ahead. And uh, I came out here today and I figure it's gonna be way nicer to do, to do that uh, review here in the field versus uh, doing all this at home. And like I did a couple other videos uh, in front of my desk, but uh, when it's minus 30 outside, you don't really have a choice. And today the weather is just uh, spectacular. It's nice and warm, uh, you don't feel the cold, even though still shed a lot of snow on the ground. So thank you for watching uh, this video. And if you have any comments or questions, you can drop it down below. And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe uh, if you are new to my channel. Uh, always appreciate it and we're gonna hit the road again and maybe, maybe I fly my drone here for a little bit too. Nice area, might as well.